Good morning, Tommy. Good morning, Kevin. So I read an interesting fact this morning. Yeah. Imagine this, an eighth inch crack around the front door and the back door lets as much air into the house as if you had a small window open halfway. I'm not surprised. <laughs> a lot of air can come into those little spaces. Let's start with the door. There are all kinds of door sweeps that you can install on the bottom of the door, from mm -hmm. this type here to a, one that can go on the surface of the door. So it sweeps like that, right. gotcha. Up the sides and across the top, there's all kinds of weather stripping that can go on the jam and the door can go up tight closing that gap. All right, so that's what we should be thinking about, the perimeter of the door. Uh, how about windows? Windows are very important. Here's a double hung window right here, for example. I think the most important thing that people forget to do is lock them in the wintertime. By locking the window, you seal the gap between the meeting rails, stopping the air from migrating through. So close this gap right along here. Right. A window this size, I would almost put two sash locks on here, one on each side, yep. really tightening up that gap. Yeah, when I tighten my windows, I actually lock them. It pushes this up to the top and to the bottom. Well, that's what it does also. But you have a hairline crack right there, so wood to wood. Yeah. All right? So if you take an insulation right here, there's all different times that you can stick on the top of the window like that. Mm -hmm. So when you close it, that gap will be filled. And when you lock it, it'll be nice and tight. Gotcha. Now, what about really big gaps? Like on an old window here, we've got a gap down at the bottom. Well, you can use a temporary caulking like this right here. This is a gap uh, filler. It's called backer rod? That's right. It goes right in there and expands in there. When you open the window, it'll pop out in the summertime. All right, so that's temporary. They've also got temporary options that come in a, a tube. There's a tube right here, and then the stuff right here you can peel off of a roll. It's almost like clay. You put it on, fills that gap. In the summertime, you peel it off and your window's operable. All right, so lots of places around the window that we need to think about. Another statistic I read was that almost two to five percent of the air filtration in the house comes from around outlets. Think about how many outlets you have on your outside wall. They probably don't have any insulation around That's them the on the outside. Air leaks through it. Sure, it is a hole. Take the cover off, put this little insulating pad on here, mm -hmm. put the cover back on, and you've stopped a lot of that air from leaking into the house. Okay, so where are there some other holes that we have to be thinking about? Well, think about when a plumber or an electrician drills a hole, you have where a wire goes through or a vent line goes through, fill those gaps with yep. some form of a caulking or even a foam. Okay. A lot of air leaks through there. All right, well, if we close all those up, we can save some more money and make sure that you're comfortable all year long. You'll save money forever. Mm -hmm.